Reggie's Corner Variety Gaming. Alright, welcome to part 9 of this let's play of Intravenous on True Difficulty. We are in the basement of the last level and we will continue from where we left off. So yeah, let's do it. As always, I am playing on True Difficulty, which means that I only have three saves. And I have a very aggressive play style, which means I might die a lot, and I'll edit a lot of that out. And only keep the interesting parts and the story bits. Uh-oh. Okay, so that's also good to know that that was indeed a new level. Kill a few guys with the knife. Seems like a, a good level for it. Oh man, that's a lot of guns. Very accurate. I do hate the shotties. I do hate them. Well, at least we have a sizable pile of dudes in this here body pile. Yeah. You can sit there all day? Well. was obviously a lie. ourselves the bathroom area just well eat that pizza it's there you know
another locked door. Okay, we have bandages, which is nice. Might as well try this. Okay, that's a dude. Might actually be the last dude, but... Use one of my saves here. I guess there's no use playing dumb in this situation. You're damn right there isn't. You're distributing this stuff for what? Money? Power? Compensation for a small cog? It's all the same to you, isn't it? There is no motive. There are people who want this, and I'm here to give it to them. It makes a pretty penny. Those who overdose on this couldn't care less about them. So you readily hand it out. Your shit cost me my brother. One to generate like you less will make the city a better place. So what? You take me out and someone else will start dealing this stuff. Doesn't matter what I do or did, there's always someone eager to jump at the opportunity. You think the action of a single man like you will have any effect? Ha! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You kill me and the next day someone will take my place. Yeah? What if I keep taking out every cocksucker that pops up afterwards, huh? It's an infinite supply. They're an infinite supply, the likes of you. You really think you're never going to slip up, huh? Whatever. If you kill me now, you'll have your revenge. Though for a while I've been thinking of getting the hell out of this whole business. I've seen enough. Maybe going out like this ain't that bad. I just wish I hadn't gotten caught up in all this shit. Believe me when I say that another one like me would pop up. In exchange for my life, I will help you when that happens. So keen on giving up your drug throne, huh? Give me one good reason why I should trust a single word you say. I've been honest with you so far. You're past my boys and are holding me at gunpoint. You've proven that you're tough as nails. You might be acting alone, but I'm willing to bet you had help from someone. That earpiece you wear is proof enough. People like you don't give more than a second chance if they catch wind uh, that they were lied to. I'm not innocent. I've done my share of atrocities, otherwise you wouldn't be here, and I wouldn't be at gunpoint. I have nothing to prove, just like you, I have nothing to lose. Nothing to lose? Your drug empire and the cash it brings you is nothing then? Don't be so melodramatic. Don't be so melodramatic. You know what I mean when I say that. You know what? I mean, we've killed a fair amount of guys, but we'll spare him. He's been honest. And we have the enemy of my enemy achievement. You won't trick me into your bullshit. Is it finally over? Yeah. I finished him off. Then it's done. You've gone above and beyond my expectations. This is a fantastic day for us. I'd like to wash my hands clean from all this. I understand. 
Wouldn't like to stick around in this either. Thank you for cleaning this city from low light like this. Goodbye. Hey, you help me out in a case and I come across any Hey, you help me out in case I come across any more of these junkies, alright? You know where to find me. Until then, and thanks for your help. Listen, I know you don't trust me, so take my number. This doesn't prove that I'm being honest, but it's the least I can do. What? Trying to get in my good graces? How can I be sure you won't get rid of it? I can't prove it to you, but I promise this might be of use later. Alright, Baker's Panic Room results. And there were 16 guys and we killed 50, so there was one more somewhere. And yeah, oh rank, commando. Maybe there weren't enough guys to kill to get bloodthirsty, but yeah, good level. Something the guy said convinced me to spare him. What he said was true, then I might have made an ally in case shit went south. Truth be told, I want to blow his brains out. I had to lie to my accomplice about it too. The guy was listening to everything. I don't know what he's like. If I had told him I spared the guy's life, then he could have put me on his shit list. And then what would have happened? I wouldn't be surprised if people would have found someone like me and sicked the guy on me. I can't be the only person neck deep in this. Still, that was a good day. I had dismantled a major organization peddling the shit that cost me my brother. Despite that, I had a feeling this wouldn't be the end of it. Barring the paranoia, it seemed like things were going to get better. Steve's House, November 19th, 2004. News reporter. Expect the weather to cool off in the following days as we finally start heading into winter, with the fall lagging behind schedule, taking its sweet time. In other news, police say a local gang responsible for drug trafficking has seemingly disbanded after what seems to be a large shootout between two gangs. Police say the gang was situated in the facility of Luxus Incorporated, a corporation which claimed to specialize in jewelry and other similar expensive goods. In reality, the police uncovered large amounts of drugs known as blueberry within the facility. Someone's by the entrance. I need to get my gun. That's the last guy. Hit me. Ah, oh, fuck, you got me good. Can't feel my legs. Then you better talk fast while you're conscious. Who sent you? Ah, oh, what the hell? I'm going to be dead anyway, aren't I? Shit, that hurts. Okay. I don't know who ordered the hit. I was just paid a lump sum of money and told to take you out. Fuck, it's weird not feeling my legs. Told you'd be like an ordinary guy, just highly trained in all sorts of combat shit. 
Didn't think it'd be that bad though. Fuck. <laughs> uh, anyway. Is there any chance you let me go? I mean, you fucked me up, but, uh. Broke into my house, tried to kill me, and can't walk. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. They screwed me over once anyway. I guess this counts as the second time. The pay was too low for this shit. I don't know who ordered the hit, but I can tell you where to find the guys who offered me the job. Doubtless, you'll be able to find out more from them. Goes without saying, getting there won't be easy. Though with how you fucked my guys up, I doubt that'll be an issue, eh? <laughs> Here, take my phone. I'm empathetic on there. Empathetic? Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> guys, a real piece of shit. It's the big wig handing all the hit business. Had the pleasure of talking to him in person after a job well done. How do I know who I shouldn't be trigger happy with? Oh, don't worry. He'll be guarded by a lot of folks for sure. Think people like me, handed with guns. Not to mention you got my phone and all the contacts on there. Do your research. Probably won't be the first time you'll be doing this stuff, eh? I think I gave you enough. Man, my legs are fucked and I don't think I'd like to live life out as a cripple. Finish me off, would you? I'm in a world of hurt anyway. Fuck, shouldn't I take this job? I need to get the accomplice on the line. Damn, what the hell is going on? Let's hope the baker picks up. Hey there, buddy. I'm curious, how the fuck is that mere days after I talked to you I have Hitman sent after me? It's not me. Look at someone wanted you out of the picture. I told you that someone would take my place fairly quickly. I'm not buying it. Meet me. I'll send you to the dress of my place. So that you can lead me to an ambush with more of your Hitman? No. You'll just have to trust me on this. Alright, Steve's house. Results. Okay, so something's a little weird about the, the total enemies and enemies killed. Because we had as a goal to kill 8. And we did kill 8. But it still has 7. Maybe because the last one triggered something. Anyway. Uh, we did get a new rank. So that's cool. And we died a fair few times because I tried to, uh, well, brute force it. Anyway. Who? Why? Were the only things going through my head? I thought I had put the final nail in the coffin on this shit. Yet, there I was. I remember what the baker told me. Believe me when I say that another one like me will pop up. Did I get sloppy and leave clues? Did someone really take his place that quickly and want to get rid of me? I didn't trust the baker, but I had his phone number. I figured if I was going to go deeper down this rabbit hole, then I should get in contact with him. If it was him, I would have just found him and put a bull in his head. If it wasn't, well, good thing I didn't kill him. Baker's Hideout. November 19, 2237. So, this feels like a good place to end off part 9 of this Let's Play. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and that you might hit those like and subscribe buttons. I also hope to see you again in the very next video, but for now, it is. Bye bye.